Hey you guys, it's Brie Simulated here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and doing a bit of a longer than usual creator sim and it is for our island living household. So these four sims should look very familiar to you if you have already gone ahead and watched either of the first three parts of the LP. But basically what you're going to go ahead and see here is me mainly working on Kalani Waters. She is our mermaid sim for this LP. So I just want to point out that a couple of these clips are out of order. So when I first got my hands on Island Living, what I did was I filmed my first impressions and overview. Then I went ahead and filmed the first part of the LP. And then I later on filmed, I think I filmed maybe a build next and a, another couple of parts of the LP and another build. But this creator sim was sort of like filmed in between all of those parts. So before I went ahead and started the LP, I obviously had to create Kalani because the first three sims you see down the bottom left, I had already created them before Island Living came out. So I went ahead and created those sims earlier and I'd been playing with them and developing their backstory and their skills and their personality earlier in my own free time. So those sims were already there. I just had to give them a makeover. But Kalani, I knew I had to start from scratch because I wanted her to be a mermaid from the get-go. And if you didn't know this, you can't make a sim into a mermaid in Creator Sim in The Sims 4. So if they're already a sim, you can't turn them into a mermaid in Creator Sim. Just like with a lot of the other oculates, you can't do it that way. You have to find another way to get turned into a vampire. Or I don't think you can even get turned into an alien. And you have to go ahead and eat mermaid kelp, I think, to become a mermaid in The Sims 4. I'm not quite sure. I haven't actually tried yet, but I knew I wanted her to be a mermaid from the start without doing any cheats or any like work, <laughs> any work to actually do it. So I just went ahead and waited until the day of release. So before I filmed the first part, I went ahead and filmed this first clip here. It's about to end in just a couple of seconds. And that's all I filmed for the first part. It was just a creator sim of Kalani. And I was going to release it just as a mermaid creator sim. But I decided I need to go ahead and give all the other sims makeovers as well. So these sims were already created. I didn't create them from scratch. All of them were actually bred, which is kind of weird. Like I download sims off the gallery and make my own sims, randomize sims. It's like a, a mix and like sims from in the town. And I'd go ahead and have them have kids. So for instance, Malik, who is the first sim on the left, he is from an Asian descent. He has his great grandparents, his grandparents, and his like parents alive in the game. Like he is like fourth generation. Whereas Kane and Kiki here, they are cousins and their mother and father, like both of them have their mother and father alive where they don't have any grandparents. So that sort of gives you an idea of how in depth I got with each of these families before Alan Living came out. Whereas poor Kalani is all alone in the world. She doesn't have any family members or anyone that she knows. She's just a lonely mermaid who found Solani one day and decided to go ahead and live there. So each of these sims has a really interesting backstory. And that's why I sort of wanted to put all of the clips together of all of their makeovers in Creator Sim. And make a big video of it rather than little videos of like just making a mermaid and then just doing the makeovers. So I gave them a makeover here. And then did like part two and then the next clip you're about to see in a couple seconds is me making over all of them like extensively like giving them all like five outfits so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch that and while you do so i'm gonna go ahead and explain their backstories a little bit deeper because i have explained it in bits and bobs throughout the lp but if it's all in one place i feel like that's a lot nicer that way if anyone's ever wondering about the backstories i can just go ahead and refer them to this video so Malik. Malik is a beautiful young soul. He was a teen at the beginning of the LP and I aged him up on the first part. So he is like 18 years old. He is fresh out of high school. In fact, he did not finish high school. He comes from a long line of really successful and educated people. His great grandparents, his parents and his grandparents are all doctors and surgeons and business people, CEOs. I think the most chilled back, like laid back person out of his whole family, I think his mom is a fashion designer, but she is like Gucci level. Like she is really up there in that business as well. So no matter what any of his family members have done in the past, they've all been very successful at it and really, really rich. Like if you see their house, it's crazy. And 
Malik never really had aspirations to take over from any of his family's businesses or he didn't really want to become a doctor or get involved in fashion. I mean, if there was any career he would have wanted to join, it would have been the fashion career, but his family sort of frowned upon men being in the fashion industry. They should all be doctors and surgeons and business people, but at that, they still thought that he should be a doctor, but he really didn't want to go to university, which is sort of my little dig at the fact that Island Living came out and not university, but anyway... Jokes aside, he didn't want to go to university. He couldn't because we don't have it in The Sims 4, but even if he did, <laughs> we wouldn't be going there with Malik. He wanted to go ahead and just go straight into the workforce, into something completely different. He didn't want to work in anything like that. And he was in like his senior year of high school, and he also had a twin sister named Bria. I think her name was Bria. I can't quite remember. But anyway, Bria was his sister, his twin sister at that, and it was the first time anyone in the family had ever had more than one kid in a generation, and Bria unfortunately drowned to death, and she died when they were both in senior year of high school. So he was distraught. He went ahead and dropped out of school. He was failing his classes because he wasn't going to school. He dropped out of school and saw an advertisement in the paper for a roommate wanted in Solani, which was Kalani, leaving that little note. And he went ahead and moved there. His family was very disappointed and his family also don't know that he is gay and they, like, he suspects they'd be quite upset about that. So that's something we're going to address in the LP. But for now, he is just really frightened of the water. He is working as a fisherman, but he wouldn't ever dare go out into the sea. He always stays firmly on the sand. And his family are very rich. They're going to be buying a house in Sulani soon because they want to be closer to him. And they can run their businesses from Solani and like go backwards and forwards. And I think his great grandparents are going to be retiring soon. And maybe even his grandparents aren't too far off either. So they're going to be moving there and they're going to be buying these guys a house because they hate that he's currently living in a poor house. Okay, over to Kane and Kiki. Their story is a little bit more laid back. Basically, Kane and Kiki are cousins. I think their mums are related. No, I think. Kane's dad and Kiki's mom are related. I think that's how it works. Anyway, one of their parents is related to each other and they are cousins. So basically they grew up in Oasis Springs, but their family is originally from Solani. So basically they, like the brother and sister were from Solani and then the wife and husband that originally met, like each the brother and the sister, the brother and sister each met a wife and a husband and they came from different islands and they all met. And then they all decided to go ahead and move to Oasis Springs together once they all found out that they were having children. So around the same time, they found out that they were having Kane and Kiki. Kane is about half a year older than Kiki, but he really uses those couple of months against her. He always acts like he is such a big brother to her, always telling her what to do and trying to keep her safe. And they really are the bestest of friends. Like for cousins, they are pretty damn close. They don't really go anywhere without each other. And if you um, haven't watched the LP, Kane is going to be going ahead and hooking up with Ki... Eh, not with Kiki. Oh, my God. Kane is going to be hooking up with Kalani. And Kiki might feel a little bit of a tang when that does happen because her and Kalani are close. But her and Kane are closer, just as cousins. But, like, she'll just feel kind of weird because she'll be having to spend less time with him. He'll be busy. He'll be unavailable because he'll be with Kalani and she doesn't really know Kalani all that well. So it's going to be kind of weird for her to sort of feel like she is alone in Solani, but I'm hoping that maybe her and Malik can become better friends because like I said, Malik is going to be coming out of, as gay eventually and Kiki is openly lesbian. So hopefully they can bond over that factor. Maybe she can like help him build the confidence to come out to his family because I think he's sort of going to feel guilty. Like Malik is going to feel kind of guilty about lying to his parents, not lying to them, just like concealing the truth because they're going to be buying him and his three friends a house. And it's a nice house at that. It's like 175,000 Somalians. So they're going to be buying him a nice house. So I think he feels like he should be honest and completely open with them, but he's kind of nervous about how they'll react. And I think he's more nervous about it than he should be, but I think he still does have just reason to be nervous because his family can be quite judgmental and critical, but they are starting to open up. For instance, they let him move to Solani all on his own when he was like 18 years old. So I think they're sort of opening up to the idea that they have to go ahead and let Malik be whoever he wants to be, but they're all sort of feeling kind of like freaked out and protective of him because they just lost their daughter. So 
There's a bit of a tough dynamic going on there, but we're certainly going to work through that. I'm hoping Kiki might be able to help Malik with that. And we'll eventually be finding Kiki a little girlfriend as well. I don't know why I said little, a girlfriend as well. And yeah, so Kane and Kiki are lovely characters. Their family are lovely as well. We haven't met them yet, but at the moment they're living in a like two bedroom house in Oasis Springs because they like were very poor growing up. That's why they moved to Oasis Springs because they just wanted to be as close as possible to a really nice school for both Kiki and Kane because the school on Solani at the time, like back 20 years ago or whenever they went to school, wasn't as good as it is now. So they had to go ahead and go to Oasis Springs to get them to a really good school so that they could learn English as well and you know, all that good stuff. And they were living in a very small house while that was happening. So now that they've got some more money and that Kiki and Kane are able to support themselves and maybe they're able to give some money to their parents as well, you know, um, they can definitely go ahead and afford to move back to Solani eventually, which I'm really looking forward to. But I think they'll still live in the same house because they've never really been separated. And I think that's also why Kiki and Kane feel so close because they grew up in the exact same house. Like they were always together at school, at home, always together. So that's why they moved out together. And that is why I think It'd be really good for them to keep close, but I think that's why they're going to find it weird when her and Kalani, like, sort of clash. I don't think they'll clash. It's just, I think Kiki will feel a little bit left out, but I'm hoping she can go ahead and get over it, to say mainly, but she will get over it. Kalani is just a really beautiful sim. I feel really bad that she doesn't really have much of a backstory, but basically what I'm imagining is, like, maybe her mom gave birth to her. Like, how do mermaids give birth if they have, like, tails? Like, how does it happen? Like... So they have to change into their human form to give birth. I don't know, but I may be pretending that Kalani is like half human, half mermaid because she can turn into a human. She isn't full mermaid all the time. So maybe her mom was full mermaid and her dad was a human and they like had a child together, but because they like couldn't stay together when her mom gave birth, however that happens, she just like left Kalani in the water or maybe she like died during childbirth or like maybe there was a storm or something. Kalani like washed up ashore and she was like swimming around as a little dolphin not a little dolphin as a little mermaid had her dolphin pod friends and then eventually she found Solani as an adult we're imagining Kalani's maybe like 21 like she's older than the others probably so yeah she's probably around the same age as Kane Kane is probably like 21 22 and Kiki is just a little bit younger than him but Malik is definitely the baby of the group but yeah, so these guys are currently living in a two-bedroom house in Solani in the main island. But they're going to be going ahead and moving to a really luxurious, like, almost mansion, dare I say, house <laughs> on the, like, more touristy, the St. Taz lot, I think it's called. Um, I did a build on that last week. If you want to see that, I'll go ahead and link it up above and in the description down below. But yeah, I really enjoyed that build. That build is also on the gallery. My ID is Brie Simulated. And also, all these sims are on the gallery. They don't involve any CC. They're on the gallery. My ID is Bree Simulated. Or search hashtag Bree Simulated if the gallery ID doesn't work. And I do also have a base game and island living only build up on the gallery. And that video will be coming out very soon as well. So, yeah, I went ahead and made that house sort of with maybe one of our characters in mind. But then I thought, hmm, if I want Kane and Kiki's parents to live together, they'd need more than a one bedroom. So I'm going to be going ahead and building them a house soon. And also an even more luxurious than the house I already built for uh, Malik's family because they are a very close knit family. The grandparents, like the great grandparents, the grandparents and the parents of Malik all still live together. So they need like a four bedroom house because they are always going to keep a bedroom free for Malik in case he ever decides to come home. So I need to go ahead and build a big, luxurious four-bedroom, four-bathroom home for them. And that's going to take me a while. Actually, I might do that tonight. I feel really into building. If you guys are builders and you don't have island living, I definitely recommend it. Not just for the build by content, but for like the style and the aesthetic of the content overall within the game. It suits really well with a lot of other things like cats and dogs, laundry day, just like a whole lot of stuff it goes really, really well with if it's used right. And also not just for the build by stuff but for the actual world and the lots building over water is so fun i really hope they add it into other elements of the game like building over water in other lots like maybe oh, if you could build over like a lake in granite falls oh my god that'd be so amazing but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and leave this voice over here hope they enjoyed this creator sim and i also hope that you're enjoying the lp if you haven't already watched it i definitely recommend you go ahead and check it out 
Until next time, I hope you all have a very sunny day and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.